people who are involved in music learn a different level of concentration. They can think through things differently. Somebody says, why did the background of music help you run a bunch of stores? As a conductor, you're running a bunch of different things at one time. If you've ever looked at a score for an entire orchestra, there's a lot to see at any one moment. I was trained in doing that. Handling multiple things at a time, using hands going different directions at one time, I'm used to that. I think of it as conducting the Symphony of Specs. worked here for a lot of years before my wife and I took over. Her family started the business. We came here and realized that I could do better here than I could by teaching and make a better living for my family. So I started out here packing orders that went to bars and restaurants and I spent several years of just doing that and delivering to those customers and we grew from there. This store, when we started, although it was at that time the largest liquor store in the country was still only 13,000 square feet. There was no non-alcoholic section to speak of in our stores at all. We added more because customers kept asking for more. And all we did was try to fill the need. If somebody wants it, we try to have it. Customers ask us, you know, if you had some cheese, I could entertain better. Okay, well, got a little four foot section of cheese. But yeah, but we need some crackers now. So we had to get in the cracker business. And it just, one thing leads to another, and people say, you know, I wish you could do this, wish you could do that, and we go, we can do that. So when we find something we try, and it, it doesn't meet what our customers are asking for, then we get away from it and move to something else. I've always enjoyed learning, and there's so much to learn about all the products that we sell and all the customers that we deal with, because we have customers from all over the world. We have products from all over the world, and I came from a family that did not drink alcohol at all. I started from zero with a lot to learn. Probably 30 years ago, there was a magazine that actually put in the University of Specs on the front cover of their magazine because we were known for having teaching people so much in the industry and, and working at it to get smarter about what we do. We get to be part of people's lives, from weddings to anniversary parties to birthdays. Every type of enjoyment that goes along, we get to play in there with them, and it's fun. People come to us to have a good time. We're in the people business. It's pretty simple. Take care of your customers, and they'll take care of you. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. Bars, restaurants, coffee shops all closed. The National Restaurant Association estimates about a quarter of all restaurants to close as a result of this pandemic. The booze business is booming. New numbers show total alcohol sales for the week ending April 11th grew by more than 25%. The reaction to the pandemic was phenomenal that we didn't know if we were going to be able to stay open or not. But fortunately, we were deemed a necessary business and we got to stay open because all the bars and restaurants closed and all of a sudden people had to enjoy their products at home. So on the retail side of things, our business ballooned overnight and we had to come up with a thing called curbside and we had to think how, how many more ways can we talk to the customer and, and enable them to order from us. Having our own app and managing it through Bottle Caps and with their help gives us the power to be able to present everything that we want to. When we go on to somebody else's app and we're at their mercy, they won't show all the products that we have, nor do they allow us to sell them as inexpensively as we can on our own app because we're not having to pay somebody else to do it for us. And so the consumer comes out ahead. We want the consumer to have a better time shopping on our app, but we also know the engine behind it and the whole point of it is customers want to see what's available. They want to get the best price they can. And that's what we do with the app. It's just been a huge asset for us because it's opened up our whole portfolio of product, be it peanuts, be it snacks, be it liquor, be it wine, everything was available.
once a customer has downloaded the app, they can set their home store. Then once the system knows what store and what inventory it's pulling from, it knows what products are available. What our customers are telling us is they love the ease of the app. It's easy to maneuver, easy to shop, easy to set up. That's key because not everybody that's using the e-com apps today are the younger generation, you know, the Gen Xers. You got some older people like myself and it's just the ease of the app is what I'm enjoying hearing from consumers. The app is a very natural way for those who shop on their, using their phone, which an awful lot of people do today. And we're trying to make that better every day, just as we're trying to make our website better. Our job is to execute and get the product to them in whatever manner they choose. Things happen, things change, and we have to be ready to be able to make those changes. And that's what I see with bottle caps is they do that. When we look at what we're doing, when we step back from it, and my wife and I are talking that about where we are, we're pretty blown away with what we've been able to pull off. But that's not what, the way we run our lives. We don't stop and think about that. All we're really thinking about every day is how do we get better? The accolades we've received, the awards we've received have come because of the way we run our business. We think about our customers and our staff and how we can make it better for them and better for our customers.